my name is PM. Hi, uh, my name is Pete from New Generation Ski School. I hope you enjoyed these videos. As a beginner, they'll help you know what to expect. But remember, the best way to stay safe on the mountain and to have loads of fun is to book lessons with a professional instructor. Okay, we're going to talk about how to put a ski boot on. Uh, first thing is um, make sure your boot is warm and completely dry. That will give you the best chance of keeping your toes warm through the day. First thing is to make sure that all the buckles on the boot uh, are undone and that means you can open up the boot to put it on. And you want to open up the boot and pull the tongue out so that it's across the one side. Once you've done that you'll need to stand up. You can actually twist your foot in, the tongue is nice and flat and then you can close the boot up. To close the boot you want to start at the top. Once you've got those two buckles done at the top, flex into the boot. That will bring your heel into the the cup of the boot at the back and then you can tighten up the rest of the boot. The last thing is the Velcro strap. You want this to be nice and snug with bringing the tongue into contact with the shin. Once you've done that, the elastic of your trousers can go over the top of the boot. That will keep the snow out and you're ready to go. A lot of people have a bit of trouble walking in ski boots when they first put them on. It obviously restricts the ankle, which is a bit awkward uh, until you get used to it. Uh, you can walk normally, just heel and toe. If it's fairly flat, there really shouldn't be any problem uh, just on the snow. Walking in ski boots is a bit more problematic going uphill or downhill. If you're heading uphill, you want to use your toes to kick into the snow and make your way up the slope. If you're going downhill, you'd use your heels to make your way down the slope. So we're gonna show you how to put a ski on, on the flat. Uh, the first thing is to make sure the sole of the boot is clear of any snow. And to do that, you can scuff it on the toe piece of the binding. Okay, once you're uh, confident there's no snow on the, on the sole, you can line up so check the heel pieces down, place the toe into the toe piece, make sure the heel is straight, squeeze down until you hear a reassuring click and you're in. Once you've got one ski on, uh, the first thing you'll do is learn to scoot along just on one ski. You want to keep your body weight over the top of your feet and as you travel along, make sure your body stays over your feet and you can gently push yourself along using your feet and your poles to steady you. Another thing that we have to learn is how to pick up your skis and how to carry them. So what you want to do at first is you want to pick up your skis holding onto the bindings. When you pick them up, you still hold them at the bindings. One, you leave, and the other one, you first lift. You want to make sure that one break is on top of the other, and then you click down. Yeah? Once you click them together, you check which binding is on top and then you have two ways of carrying your skis. One way is the brake that is basically underneath is the one that it's secure and that locks the skis. So if you're holding onto the binding, you can carry them like this, yeah? The other way of carrying the skis is on your shoulder. So what you do, you again check which brake is underneath and that ski needs to be on top. So first of all, you wanna pick them here, turn them around and you wanna put it onto the shoulder. You just rest your arm here and because the brakes are clicked together, it's secure and you're good to go. All right, so now let's chat about your ski poles. The first thing you want to make sure is that they're the right length. You can first of all turn the pole around and you hold it under this, yeah? So this is the part that basically glows in the snow and you wanna make sure that when you put your pole down, you have a right angle in your arm here, yeah? This is usually the 90 degrees angle. The next thing, you wanna make sure that the length of the strap is long enough that you have possibility to put your hand in. You put your hand from the bottom up and you hold the strap with it and then you're ready to go. So the first thing uh, we want to learn uh, is how to do a snowplow and how to safely stop. 
So the snowplow we also call a pizza position. So what you want to do is you want to gently lean forward uh, onto your boots. You want to keep your hands in front and to form a snowplow position, you want to push your heels apart. Yeah in this kind of position. A very important thing here is to be careful that your skis uh, in front don't cross. So you really want to uh, have your, the tips of your skis just 10 centimeters apart. And you also want to engage your knees, pushing the knees a little bit inside and you press down. This way you're gonna also use the edge, which is going to stop you really effectively. So when you're a beginner and you're learning how to ski, uh, the first lift that you're probably going to use is magic carpet. So if you're skiing with poles, the first thing you want to do is you want to unhook your poles and you want to grab them in one hand. Just before going onto the magic carpet, uh, you want to use, I call baby steps. So really going slowly, moving your skis in parallel position forward. Balance your body weight on both skis, stand parallel, leaning forward. Once you're on the magic carpet, you just remain still, relax, and you look forward. Then exiting the magic carpet, you just lean forward, stand parallel, and the magic carpet is basically going to push you off very gently. Once you feel that both of your skis are on the snow, you just try and move aside, either right or left, and then use the snow plow to stop. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to use a drag lift or often also called a button lift. So again, if you are skiing with poles, the first thing you want to do is you want to unhook your poles and you want to grab it in one hand. So in my case, the drag lift is on the right side. That's why I'm going to grab the poles in my opposite hand. So my right hand is free to grab the drag lift. And then you have two options. So one is that the lifty is going to tell you when is the right time to use the drag lift or there is a semaphore and you wait for a green light. So when you are the next in line to use it, you want to use your right hand to get the drag lift. Then you want to make sure that your skis are parallel and you want to put the drag lift between your legs. And the most important thing here, you stand up parallel and the drag lift is gonna basically pull you forward. Then once you're at the top, and you want to get off the drag lift, a very important thing to do is to wait until it gets flat or even a little bit down the hill and that's the time when you want to pull your drag lift down and away. And then you basically just ski parallel, moving to the side and waiting for your instructor. Okay, so you're turning confidently and getting around the mountain a bit and it's uh, time to take your first chair lift. As with all lifts, uh, safety is important. So we do advise that the first time you do this, you do it with someone who knows what they're doing and ideally with an instructor. Once you're into the queue, uh, you'll see the gates opening and closing ahead of you as people move through onto the chairlift. Um, you want to make sure that once you're up to the gate, you're ready to move nice and quickly once the gate opens and there'll be a, a stop area, normally indicated by um, a red line or a, a stop sign on the mat. Uh, and move forward into that area nice and quickly. And then you can look over your shoulder as the chairlift comes around with your poles in one hand, put a hand back, guide yourself down onto the seat. And then once you've moved away and you're sat down, bring the bar down over your head and you're off. Getting off the chairlift, as you approach the station, you want to be ready to put the bar up. You want to bring the ski tips up, making sure that they're pointing up just a little bit. Uh, stand up with your skis parallel and then either push yourself forward or use the momentum to slide forward and just slide straight ahead with your skis parallel. Once you're in some space, just check around you and you can slow down with a small plow or make a turn away from the lift area. 